Today I'll be reviewing this Boston 10 Korean style backpack in today's video. So be sure to stay until the very end of the video. I'll talk about the price, the different features, as well as filling this bag up to the brim. But first, let's go over their website. Here we have the Lazada Mall flagship store of Boston 10. As you can see, they sell belts, wallets, and bags for both male and female. So take a look at the different options they have here. They just concluded their 5-5 sale but they have more products than the one I showed here. Let's take a look. As you can see, mostly wallets. They have belts, reversible belts and all of those. So we have you know, a, a sort of general idea on what Boston 10 sells. So let's take a look at what I will be reviewing in the future before I move on to what I will be reviewing today. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll be reviewing this one, the black variant of this bag right here in the future. So hopefully in one month's time, I'll be reviewing this. So this is again 882 pesos. But first, let's start with the bag I'll be reviewing for today's video. So as you can see, both of them are Korean uh, design. And as you can see, this is the bag that I will be testing later. I'll be filling it up to the brim. So as we can see right here, 100% authentic and 30-day free return. So 882 pesos. Again, that's the price. So take a look at the some of the information we have right here. So if you're asking how the bag looks like, it looks like this, as you can see. It looks very minimalist and it's color black mostly. It's color, it's matte, matte color. Take a look at uh, this one right here, very important. People are asking, does it fit a 16 inch laptop? Yes, it does in the laptop compartment. So that's a 16 inch diagonal screen for a laptop comes with shoulder straps, water resistant material, although it's not as good as the more expensive bags that I've reviewed on the channel. So take a look at the donut bag top right of your screen right now. That That's definitely the better water resistant bag. And uh, since this one again, you take note, you are paying 882 for this bag. So definitely you get what you pay for. We have right here a fall leather logo. I'll be showing you that later as well as this specific handle right here. As you can see, you can definitely use the bag to your liking for travel, for school, or for any other daily requirements. So again, the bag has a zipper feature more or less to protect your items from theft. As you can see right here, we have lots of different compartments. We have a computer sleeve. We have a zipper bag over here. We have two pouches, which I will show you all of those later. We also have some additional quirks inside of the bag. So again, we have here a fabric bag. Again, it looks like this. If you're interested to find out the size, 29 centimeters by 15 by 41. And as we can see right here, looks very nice and stylish. We move on to the weight. This is very important. It's a lightweight bag, so it's 0.85 kilos empty. And that's something for you to know. Now we move on to the actual testing of the bag. We are greeted with a small zipper compartment where you can add in your earphones or anything like a wallet, some coins to fit inside of that small zipper. We have a Velcro strap for the laptop sleeve, which can fit a 16 inch. Although I personally wouldn't try to fit a 15 inch or 16 inch laptop inside. Uh, this MacBook Air is actually only, I believe, 14 inches or 12.8 inches to be exact, the diagonal of the screen. So not super big, but you can definitely fit in a full sized accordion. The size is A4 for all of your files, documents, and paper needs. It's color red. And after that, we also have two soft bound books right here, inserting it inside. So the purpose of this part of the video is to show you what the bag looks like if it's filled. Is it worth your 882 pesos? And what's my final rating? So definitely stay until the very end of the video in terms of the first impressions I have. So the bag is made with definitely fabric materials and as we can see right here 
let's see if I am able to close this zipper down. Let's take a look as you can see. It needs a bit of effort but overall it was able to close itself. And also this flapping mechanism probably for anti-theft since you are preventing outside forces from entering your bag including water if there are heavy rains definitely check that out we have here our front compartment take a look at the front compartment it's not super symmetrical so that's something if you're looking for the aesthetic value you are able to fit in a calculator a phone and a wallet and you are also able to close it using the magnet clips right here so you are able to keep those items safe inside take a look at the bag if you haven't watched uh, this video right here, the FJ Bottle Tumbler, you're able to put your coffee here. It will keep your drinks hot and warm for up to 6 hours. So definitely watch that video, top right corner of your screen. It comes in many, many different colors. So overall, the experience of filling up this bag, I will rate that, you know, a 7 out of 10. The actual bag uh, construction, it's not super flimsy. It's actually, you know, very well made for its price. But definitely, it's not as thick or as robust as the donut bag. Take a look at the right portion of your screen. So now, let's take a look at the side profile of the bag once it's filled up to the very brim. So I think that's very important. Take a look at the bag, how it looks like. It looks very good and it's also very minimalist. So overall, in terms of the design, although this is, you know, uh, a case-to-case, -case, a person-to-person -person basis, uh, personally, I will rate the design an 8 out of 10. I like the black colors. We can see here that the handle strap on the very top is made of faux leather. Connected to uh, the strap via, as you can see, stitches. The stitches are actually very good. Although, if the stitches do come out, you can just restitch them up yourself. So, in terms of durability and my experience with Boston 10 bags, I will rate it you know, a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, a little bit of repair can definitely extend the life of your bag, especially the small and uh, the very thin lining, the inner lining that protects your uh, inner items from, uh, the, from the rain, from the heavy rain. But as you can see right here, the actual strap of the bag at the back, not so padded, so that's definitely something for you to consider. But overall, in terms of the price, again, we are considering the price here. This is definitely, you know, a 7.5 out of 10 product very worth it i would say very affordable as well so this is something for you to consider take a look at the link in the description watch my other videos be sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell